life imitating art, but also that shit existed already. And, and people brought that culture to life through the art so that they could teach us so we could learn about it. And mm -hmm. whether it was through comedy of Half-Baked or How High or through the music of Wu-Tang or Nas was like, uh, like po poetically speaking about weed smoking yeah. and, and the importance of, it, of that in the, in the culture. Stage one podcast. Stoop to store, legacy to legal. You know how we do. Mm -hmm. My main man, JLRX. Scotty Pax. Hey, Jack. <laughs> what up, Jack? What up, Jack? I'm Merck. We're going to talk about a few interesting subjects. Just one or two. Or three. And then we'll see where it goes. Shout yeah. out to Rap Dills. Mm hmm. Yeah. The God, the legend himself. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. So, got his own streaming service. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Check yeah. that out. Pull up. Like and subscribe. That's what they say on the on the YouTubes and the in the videos and all that, right? Like and subscribe. That's what we so that, do. that's a good segue. Let's talk yeah, about how. Service, let's talk about how uh, media and uh, like music and movies and all this, all the things that that we ingest and, and, and I mean, I know, I don't know about y'all, but like the first time I ever heard about smoking blunts was in the fucking music that I was listening to. And then I, mm -hmm. and we were rolling blunts and that shit mm -hmm. definitely affected my cannabis journey. So let's talk about that. How, how the art that we consume kind of leads us into this. Sure. Would you like to start? Yeah, sure. Um, definitely started with, uh, movie Half Baked mm. and Wu Tang Forever album. Mm. There's a picture of Method Man. Yeah. He's got the blunt in his mouth. Mm -hmm. He's like the coolest motherfucker on the planet. Facts, yeah. facts. And I was like, yo, I don't know, I was very impressionable. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to smoke weed, you know. <laughs> I, I hear know, that. That sounds horrible, but that's how. No, I that no. sounds pretty on, on uh, brand. Yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, for me, I can actually equate it to a music and a movie as well, but they're different, right? So my movie was How High, still met the man. And that was, uh, when I reached the age to be able to watch what I wanted to watch, because for my younger years, I was not. There was a list of shows that I couldn't watch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But uh, when I finally was able to watch whatever I wanted to watch, I learned How High from beginning to end. That movie's special to me too. Like, Class. Uh, I mean, like Hundreds of times I've watched it. Mm hmm. Quote that shit. And most of the people that I've grown up with, most of my friends are hey, plow yo, too. Plow okay. truck. Let's get it. Shout out to the snow. Word up. Upstate New hit. York is mm -hmm. coming down. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Um, so there was that was the movie, and then the music. I'm gonna just spit it for you. It ain't hard to tell. I excel and prevail. My mic is contacted. I get track clientele. My mic check is life for death, breathing the sniper's breath. I exhale the yellow smoke of Buddha through righteous steps. That was it for me. Uh, the uh, yellow smoke of Buddha. You know what I'm saying? Like, and obviously you know my connection with Nas, Thrillmatic. That's my guy. Nas is my spirit animal. Um, <laughs> but once I once I heard once I started hearing Buddha as the way to refer to weed. Buddha, 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 Buddha. Buddha, Buddha. That it, it I, obviously it stuck with me and it kind of molded me and my perception of what it was to smoke weed. You know what I mean? And yeah. I went through my years of ego smoking, which is what I call it when you're just kind of smoking to be cool, which we've all done at some point in time. But I've also got to a point where it became a real spiritual practice for me, and it brought me to places where me being sober, I might not have reached as quick. Yeah, yeah. So our. The, yeah, definitely music, the movies that we all grew up on, learned about the shit, the culture from. So I always, I don't, so it's like, yeah, it was life imitating art, but also that shit existed already. And, and people brought that culture to life through the art so that they could teach us so we could learn about it. And mm -hmm. whether it was through comedy of Half Baked or How High or through the music of Wu Tang or Nas, where it's like, uh, like po poetically speaking about weed smoking yeah. and and the importance of it, of that in that in the culture of hip hop. I mean, it it made me love fall in love with hip hop and weed at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's all I don't know. It's just 
I think it's super important the the the, the way the two play off of each other. We have um, some brands in the store by like people who in hip hop are transitioning into like weed selling weed. So let's talk a little bit about some of those brands that we're carrying. Um, Scotty, you were talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the heavy smoke by Shice Bub. Mm-hmm. Um, Shice was a diplomat affiliate back in the day. For sure. Yeah, I mean, he still is obviously, but yeah, yeah Purple City Bird Gang. Big, big part of marijuana culture in New York City has been for a long time. Um, I didn't know that either. Yeah, he was yeah. A, he, he was big in the Hayes movement. In the Hayes mm-hmm. movement, really yeah, big in the Hayes yeah, movement, yeah, yeah. and yeah. Uh, it's just good to see somebody like that go you know, from legacy to le- legal. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. the type of people that should be in the industry. That's the type of people that need to be in the industry. You know, and uh, I think that's one thing New York did right, but you know. It feels like they're backtracking on that now, you know, with everything going on. But hmm. and uh, but yeah, it's dope to see Scheist in the market. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of other people coming. I mean, obviously we got the Tikal. Oh, the Tikal, that's yeah. a man. Yeah, yeah man absolutely. Uh, you, you know, he that's got a, like three shout-outs must, already you know? in this, in yeah, this yeah, conversation. Yeah, 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 literally. Because yeah, yeah. he's one of the icons, in yeah. my opinion, for weed culture. Yeah, you know what I mean. Same with uh, same with Snoop. <laughs> Snoop is definitely an icon. I had a conversation with my father actually, and he was talking about Cheech and Chong, right? Yeah. Because we were talking about the whole uh, Snoop not smoking, right? And he yeah. was like, it's not really a big deal to me. Like, it's kind of just him living his life. And I'm like, is there anybody who would surprise you, right? And so when I asked him, I'm like, what if Cheech and Chong came out talking about they not smoking weed no more? And he sat and he thought about it. And he's like, you know. Cheech Moran didn't smoke for a long time. Really? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, while quit. they were making the movies? Oh, no. Not oh, while they were making the movies. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Tommy yeah. Chong never quit. quit. Man, you, <laughs> tell, you could tell. You could tell. But, um, his blood. Yeah, che- Cheech didn't smoke for a while, apparently. Allegedly. You know? Allegedly. He, he had a much more serious acting career than Chong sure, did. Sure, yes. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. uh... It, you know, it was kind of shunned still in the '90s and stuff. You okay. know, like so I yeah. think he wanted to distance himself. And he could have been smoking the whole time. Yeah, you know? yeah he might have publicly. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think that might have been how he was moving because right. now he's like publicly a stoner again. Like, and it's interesting you say that because when I my father's response to that, he was like, that would surprise him only because they were like with the with the um, up and smoke movies. They were pretty much the first ones to bring weed culture to the masses without a doubt yeah. do you know about the the record the, the soundtrack back in the day it came, it came with the giant rolling papers okay it's like a super collector's item no way yeah, yeah. I did it came not with like giant that. rolling papers so you could roll like the biggest joint the yeah. album from the, the movie the, the, the soundtrack yeah, from the yeah, movie yeah, yeah, came yeah. with yeah. rolling papers yeah yeah giant rolling papers that's yeah. classic yeah it's pretty that's fucking dope so we uh so we you real quick brought up the Snoop saying he quit smoking weed, but mm-hmm. he really just said he he stopped smoking. Yeah, yeah. and then and then yeah, it was good. Some, I thought it was yeah, an edible brand. For yeah, sure. edible like, brand. I thought it was for sure an edible brand. It would have right. been way better than that stove. Right, but it was a it's way a, sm- a smokeless uh, fire pit. Yo, he can only pull this once though. Right. Like, he can't yeah, do yeah. this again. Is like, he's he's saying he's gonna retire, exactly. but with weed, it's exactly but that. Literally. It's exactly yeah, yeah, that. True, and he true. wasted it on the stove. On a stove, but how much? Or a fireplace. What is it? I can't even remember what it is. Like, yeah, speaking hot, of a fire pit, who got the lighter? Because we're trying to spark this up. Somebody, anybody? So, the blood fire? Oh, lit. How, what out. kind of bag do you think he got for that? Though? It had to be crazy. That's it a, better have been crazy. It had to be. <laughs> Because he could have launched the edible brand and it would have done I mean, a lot. He, I think. he did launch like cereal with Master P in yeah. the grocery store. Kids cereal Kids too. Kids cereal yeah. too. And he's, he, yo, I mean, Snoop be launching mad shit. So fuck it. He, he, gets, a, he gets that bag. He does. Especially now. Yeah. He's reached a level in his career where he's just caking. He's but, killing everything. He did like, you know, shows of Martha Stewart and shit. You know what I mean? But that motherfucker is a straight crip been smoking weed in the public eye forever and like, For sure. and like you know he's just that's some fire shit right there that's yeah. like that's weed right there though like that's the power of personality snoop snoop like i don't know i do this fucking legend mm-hmm. this legendary dude definitely yeah big time huge in weed culture music absolutely it was interesting shout when that out happened. to snoop for real i actually had a. Um, I, I went through something. I had a little moment. I had to stop smoking for a bit, and then that's when he came out with that 
that little stunt, you know what I mean, before he told us what was happening. So I was like, yes, I'm not the only one. I said I would stop smoking weed, and everybody's like, no, you can't. You're the Buddha boy. We <laughs> need this Buddha Buddha. And I was like, but Snoop stopped smoking weed. Yeah, and he didn't. So I was all happy about it, right? And then he said what he said. But if I had, if I got to be honest, by the time he said he was smoking weed again, you were smoking so weed again. Yeah. I was about to say, how long? How long? <laughs> Bro, we, we, we smoked for, the day before. I for, I for, <laughs> the news. I was like, <laughs> that you quit. Yeah. All right. Let's get on to some weed business now. And let's yes. talk a little bit about. Uh, how we help our customers into the product that they want like like so that when they come in and they're let's say they're new to cannabis they don't even know they don't know they like yeah I like used to smoke cigarettes but i don't know i haven't smoked anything in a long time and but i need i need something to chill out after work my like, first question would be what are you comfortable with how do you want to consume it are you comfortable with smoking would you prefer to eat it or maybe drink it maybe add it into something that you're already drinking there's so many ways that you can consume it you know there's some people who are not comfortable with smoking but they are comfortable with vaping we can direct you for that too you know what i mean uh -huh. so that's my first question for that person who is saying i'm not i'm completely new i've never smoked any weed but I, it's legal now and i'm interested in partaking so that's pretty much like what do you what are you comfortable with? where do you want to start because we can go down any one of those roads right especially at stage one stage one because we got all we got a plethora of all those things that i just mentioned so Let's say let's say there are there are somebody who came in the store to say, yo, it's been a while. They're like older. What is this? That is the sauerkraut and the Jack Herrera from back home. Oh, so oh, I got it. It was ADK sauerkraut. Yeah, like, a little hey, shout out back sauerkraut mm -hmm. mixed in there yeah. Yeah. with the uh, with the Jack Jack Herrera from from back home. You know what I'm saying? Right. Call it the sour. Oh, Jack, it is ADK. We ain't talking about sauerkraut. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. We've been sitting on this. A bit. So, see you. So you get like an old, like an old person, like a like an old. Okay. They come in. Old and person. They fucking they haven't smoked since the seventies. All right. You know what so we call them? Almost all of them look for edibles. You know what we call them? What's that? We call them boomerangs. Yeah. Hey. Because they coming back. Because they coming, they coming back, back around. Yeah, 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 I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love we call that. Them boomerangs. So that's fine. What do we go? What do we get the boomerangs with? What do they want? Like it's what usually, do we it's, find? It's in honestly that? usually tinctures and edibles. They mm -hmm. want the tinctures. Yeah. They smoked in the seventies. because well, yeah, that was it. But it's, now it's, they want to like it's experiment. Heavy on them, you know? it's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Staying a lot of the point. customers probably fifty and up. They aren't looking for flour, right? Yeah, for they sure. aren't looking for flour. I'm sure. I'm sure With it's going to happen respect. to us, too. Right, yeah. It's just <laughs> exactly. a matter of protecting you know? those lungs. Facts. Because we need them to breathe at the same time. Yeah, no, you know indeed, I mean? indeed. And that's the thing I'd say with heavy smoke <coughs> and, and just smoking and vaping and doing all that over the years is that if you're not... But that's what I meant earlier with ego smoke. Because, like, sometimes we'll just go for the most potent, the most powerful. And that's cool. That's There's nothing wrong with that. Terps, yeah, baby. Yeah. Terps. Word. But I say it's a time and place. And that's where they've the, the boomerangs they've gotten to that time and place where right. they they've done all that before. Like you said, they smoked in the seventies, right. they didn't experience all that, but they still want to get high. Right. Which is they okay. want to, like you know at mean? the end of the day they just wanna unwind and maybe or like or yeah, I'll put them in a drink because they'll be it, it's a nice little daytime kind of floaty thing. You take a sip and you sip on it and you know. Yeah. <laughs> This is Got the, off you know what this is? This is uh, AJ's Sour. Damn, how did you pass that to me? Damn. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm gonna. <laughs> but I'm smoking oh, it first. <laughs> Coming from Flower House. I got y'all. From the, the man himself. It is some, uh, it is some gas. It definitely has it. It's in there. It's fucking in there. Quick question, who yeah. is AJ? AJ is the guy that basically so popularized po sour. that popularized sour. Yeah, and he, uh, I'm good, I'm good. And he fucking told me when I saw him at the farm uh, that uh, 
Sour was born on Lark Street in Albany, so that's what he told me. It's a little fun fact. Fun fact. So I want to, I would love from to. From a bag seed of some chem dog. Yeah. So I would like to. From a guy named Weasel, as the legend has it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> really? Weasel with the diesel. Weasel mm. with the diesel. Smoking that sour weasel. This is a really nice blend, by the way. That sour cow and what is it? Jackaroo? Mm-hmm. Jackaroo. Yes, sir. It's, it's fucking got a nice. Taste to it, it really right? does. I'm, ex- I'm impressed. You know me. I'm all a right. dick. I know. That's say why I we, told you. That's all right. Say we, have, say we have this. I had, we had a customer like this. <laughs> we had a customer like this came in the other day. This was a good one. Somebody, they wanted something for pain, right? And they had some arthritis going on, but they mm-hmm. also wanted to be able to get stoned. So what's a good product for that? I would say the one-to-one gummies or and one to one anything one, uh, cbd to thc what's that the island times uh yeah the island times definitely or I, that's, I like, that's I, usually I, the one i like uh the omo to. uh tincture for that because yeah. that, you could rub it on absolutely you use it as a topical the RSO, use it yeah. as a topical or right. you could put it in as a tincture and then you get it yeah, yeah get that it one both definitely ways. works too that one works for that on the last episode, we, we was talking about the, the bombs, and I was mentioning how I got it from my pops. That was the day I got it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a little update. I'm not going to lie, with all due respect, you know I love you, Dad, but he was walking around looking like the hunchback from Notre Dame, like this motherfucker. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. So yeah. I gave him that fucking tincture, though. Yeah. Yeah. Straight is thirty. You know what I mean? Holding it down, you know? So, yeah. I, I will rate was it. Was the bomb or the tincture? The bomb. The what bomb. did I say? You said the bomb you first, said the and tincture. then you said the tincture. So <laughs> that's all. Was, that says, bomb got him saying the bomb. Got him saying bomb or tincture. So the bomb yes. from uh, the heirloom jump From heirloom, yes. They hold it down for yeah. sure. These are cool. Let's talk. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. New, the new packs from Hudson are like. Definitely. Pack of joints. Yeah, yeah sun pack of joints. Like a cigarette moon style pack. Sown. Moon sown, sun grown. And what that means I'm is that they, they do theirs according to, or um, they do their uh, harvest according to the lunar schedule. I had a couple of cool. those resonators. Okay, the gummies. Uh, yeah. These uh, right here. Yeah. I tried a couple the other night. Yeah. So what's different about those from some other gummies? The live resin, resin, baby. Mm-hmm. Are they live resin or resin? Uh, I'm saying if it's resin, they live resin, actually. I yeah, would you're assume right, you're right. It's, it's the resin, right? Yeah. Uh, solventless hash infused. Solventless hash, so yeah. yeah. No, yeah. it's definitely rosin then. Okay. Solventless Good hash. Yeah. yeah. No if it was live resin, it would have a solvent. Yeah. Okay. Solventless hash infused. They're nice and tasty. Yeah. So they, yeah. So they're full spec, right? So they have like the terps from the flower in them. Yep. And you could taste it. When yeah. You, yeah. When if you, you're not a fan of the weed taste you're in your candy. Weed, yeah. Yeah. These not ain't for, for you. you at all. But if you like the weed taste in your candy, they're These pretty. The they're pretty delicious on that tip. And uh, they're full spec, so you get all the terpenes and you get all the minor cannabinoids that'll be in the flower that that hash is from. So. A solventless hash hell yeah infused gummies which are cool i think it's a good product and we got and a couple other tasty. brands that have full spectrum gummies mfny yeah um live off hours what's that yeah. off hours uh, off hours uh yeah yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah they they the all of them are absolutely right yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. but even their there. other ones can t- they're kind of like full spectrum by design you know they truly yeah, you they, know, they, they truly add, add other cannabinoids CBD, I'm saying not necessarily full but what's cool about not them full, but not you know full. what I'm saying different, like, different parts of the spectrum like let's say if we have a pie chart like a, a circle mm-hmm. like one of them will just be a certain section of the pie chart the other one will be this section of the pie chart and another one is this one so if you want to try all of them you get the full spectrum. That's what full spectrum is. Yeah. So but if you the just want a little th- piece of little, it, the THCA is a big piece, and then you have the CBD is a little piece, and the CBN is another piece, and the CBG is another yep. piece. It's cool because they'll and have the THCV the, and the THC. Well, like so the for the Delta ones that we have right now, it's gonna be THC always, yeah. hands down. Ten milligrams THC. That's given with any off hours. Yeah. Right. And then. 
one side is going to be the CBNs, and then the other side is going to be the CBGs, yeah. right? Now, you can get the straight THC and CBN if you want the super indica that's going to make you want to go to sleep, right? Or you can get the straight THC and the CBG. And then there's a whole other spectrum in between, and that's where they throw in the CBD. Because right. what the CBD is going to do is going to attach to the CB1 receptors first. CB1 receptors being the endocannabinoid system that runs through your whole body. Every cell in your body has, has a place to take the weed in. Right? Yeah. But what happens is that the CBD will attach first before the THC, CBN, CBG, any of them. CBD will get there first. And if it's there, it's going to prolong the effects of all of them. Mm -hmm. Meaning, but a lot of people think CBD is like a, like a, a, a curse word. It's like, like, like for sure. they, they hear CBD, they're like, no, I don't want no parts of that. It's like, yo, that's, chill. That's exactly like, what we're talking about. Yeah, it's such yeah. a bad stigma on it, and it's just they like just are, so needed. Right, because like, people think that it's just making you not feel it. It's not that it's making mm -hmm. you not feel it. It's like if you have a piece of dough, and instead of having it all in one ball, you're just stretching it out. You're going to feel it for longer, but just a little bit less. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's the cool thing about John it. Hope. Who you think got the best hit in the game vape wise right now? Um Honestly <coughs> Probably heavy hitters. Like as far as device goes. Oh, yeah. I would say the, 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 pod, those, the pod. those pods. Yeah. Yeah, those are they hit hard. They hit really they hit hard. For they a live long up to that time. name, you know. Yeah. And the cards. Yeah. You think the cards live up to it too? Uh, I've only had the disposables and the pods. Okay. I haven't had the five ten. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? That Acapulco Gold shit. That shit be moving. So. Well, well, I, well, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why because I, I said the generation before us, like we're t chasing sour diesel and haze. We're chasing those terps. Yeah, yeah. They're chasing Acapulco Gold. Like, yeah. I, I see so many. Uh, of the older crowd coming in there like yo give me that aquapoco gold car i need that i need that like they, they just have such fond memories uh, attached uh, to that strain yeah. so yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. cool to see them they're like chasing yeah. that like, we're chasing sour you know like do you, and do you feel like they come back for it like they found yes. it like yeah, that, yeah like a couple terps, people they, they got the aquapoco gold terps down pat i had three aquapoco gold i, I doubt sales. they got them down pat but <laughs> in a row today if I'm lying, I'm dying. Yeah. I swear. Three in a row. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, yeah. Do I need to buy one of these things? No. <laughs> nah, they be, Yo, it was uh, crazy. I, uh, I swear to God, three of them in a row. Yeah, that's well, dope. I, the, those jetpacks, fucking those. Uh, Where'd that lighter go? The infused joints, right? Oh, those are the. The packs, Jack. <laughs> the infused the joints are like with the, with the Keef and the. And the whatever, those are the fucking, those shits are moving pretty Keith, well. Keith, Terpenes, right? and Shatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. those shits be moving, right? Wait, which one? The Jetpacks. Jet so these, the, the Big Bangs? Yeah, these the Big Bangs. Not, yeah, yeah. Uh, no Shatter in these. Uh, these are live resin. There's live resin in them, and uh, THCA diamonds and Keith dusted on the outside. Uh, They're definitely my uh, THCA new... THCA diamonds? Yeah. But wow, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Why didn't you tell me this before the podcast, bro? I was, I was supposed to know this, <laughs> <laughs> or before we started selling them, because I've been fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, they're a great product. My probably my favorite new product in a long time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You got the Cherry Vortex and the Dox OG. Dox is an indica. Cherry Vortex, the sativa, and uh, yeah, they're great. We got also got the bigger bang, which is the one gram. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're a great product. Yeah. So some mm -hmm. of those, yeah, there's some really good kind of infused joints coming to market really creatively like that that have resin, shatter, keef, diamonds, all all up in the joint with Definitely. some good bud, really turped out, tasty, high like a high THC percentage like everybody's looking for, but for also sure. a good like mix of everything. So. Definitely dope. And I think that they've yeah. been uh, doing a good job with the rolling aspect and making it a even smoke to where yeah. it's not canoeing and not, like, messing up as you're smoking mm -hmm. it because that's something that I feel like people would 
steer away from pre-rolls with in my experience but these ones recently like all of them most of them like with the with the exception of the few that kind of come and go but like these ones are definitely like a great smoke you know what i mean a great yeah. they, they burn mad even all the way down to the end and i think that's important especially for yeah me. Oh, absolutely uh, yeah or not have you tried you tried them obviously yeah yeah, yeah. they're great no yeah they're my favorite infused joint for sure mm. I like the Littles too the Littles are nice yeah the Littles are good but these are great <laughs> <laughs> yeah I like these a lot definitely one of the better products for sure on the pre-roll market if mm-hmm. not the best I've had I do like the the Lucy's yes the liquid diamonds yeah the yeah the five packs mm-hmm. not not the hash not the hash yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. i mean the hash rolls those are uh, liquid diamonds uh, and keith rolled as we know but mm-hmm. you know for everyone out there and uh those are amazing mm-hmm. those are amazing too granddaddy purple is my favorite the mm-hmm. mfny is gonna bring the bagels Yes, that's what I'm looking. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that even mean? It's a hash hole. <laughs> yeah, it's like a hash oh, hole. Because oh. I always knew them as donuts before. Uh, I I only heard hash hole when I started working here. I always yeah, just heard yeah. call them donuts, donuts. you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, I mean, they're calling theirs bagels. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 the bagels, New York the bagels vibes. Look, yeah, 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 bagels yeah, yeah, look yeah, crazy yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah, yeah, fucking with the oil and everything in there mm-hmm. oh we got the moon rocks from hudson has anybody tried those yet those are nice i have not yeah i gotta try that i didn't I try them but i know those i'm not the biggest fan of moon rocks i feel like yeah. it kills the taste of weed mm-hmm. yeah you know i want to taste you know. it's a different experience it's a lot on there you know it's yeah, like oh, no, it's a layer a of keep it's a layer of oil you know so here's yeah. what i do with them i'll take it i'll break it up and i'll put it with the flour I'll put way more That's flour like than I'll put an accentuation to the flour. Exactly. All right. Break it up as tiny as you possibly can. Small, super small. And then even as I'm going through, if there's any chunks, I got to go back in and just break them down. Get it all together. And then it's kind of, it's, it's, it's a little bit more wet. It's, it's like just infusing. weird. It's like infusing the weed. It is infusing yeah. the weed. A thousand it percent. Because it's not like infusing no, it the is. weed, Mark. It, it is, is like infusing it the is weed. Because it's like, it's this substance that's just so potent and concentrated. So when you mix it with the weed, yeah. it literally, the weed that's there, it soaks it all up like a yeah. sponge. It just yeah. goes into it. And then when I, for me, when I'm rolling it, you can see the parts on the paper where there's more... Or more like, rocks than flour yeah, it'll be like sticking it'll look like greasy. it's wet yeah, yeah, yeah greasy yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah. so like the oil that oily oily all of it but that's like you got to kind of camouflage it if i did smoke them it would be in a pipe and i don't smoke pipes really so mm, yeah i tried it in my pipe but it kind of clogged it up a little bit it for me because i don't like to I, when it gets too ashy that's when i'm like um get to, and you repack it you know what I mean but I think doing that I didn't get to smoke through it all and then it's just like super wasteful well just like it made it wet so then when I put flour in it after it wasn't burner bait yeah yeah yeah. you know what I mean so that's my experience with moon rocks you just gotta know how to use it how to utilize it because if not you're not gonna get the full experience out of it and I think that that goes for any anything that we have any type of consumption of marijuana itself yeah no you have to definitely use it right yeah the right amount there's so many right different dose. ways so many different ways right. those sold out quick those moon wraps mm-hmm. really quick did they, they, they were gone. No, i didn't even day i had two. the day off and they're like Oh, we just sold the last moon rocks. I'm like, what moon rocks? Like, <laughs> yeah, I had the day off. And they were go- like, they must have came on the Thursday. I came in Friday morning, and they're like, oh, we just sold the last moon rock. I'm like, I had no idea we had moon rocks. Wow, that's uh, wild. All right, yeah. Remind me to order more moon rocks, boys. Oh, for yeah. sure. I'm sure Will already did. But, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, well, definitely not. Nah, it was a, that was a good one. Same yeah, with the that, heirlooms. That, our customers heirlooms. must be up on our website quite a bit, so that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. They I are. will say Moon Rock has been one of my biggest questions that I've gotten yeah. since we've opened. Do you guys have Moon Rocks? Yeah. Do you yeah, guys yeah, have Moon sure. Rocks? So the fact that it showed up on the website, they just probably been using that keyword search this yeah. whole time. And they yeah. just say, pew, 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 pew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bought them all. All right. Uh, yeah. 
noted noted customers <laughs> noted you want moon rocks we'll get you some more moon rocks yeah, exactly those heirloom two to ones too the ups. oh yeah the yeah ups. they just got the 10 milligram ones out mm-hmm. they've been yeah. five milligrams for a while and yeah that's the honey crisp and the lemonade yeah, the honey crisp yep. and the lemonade the two most popular flavors and mm-hmm. they just dropped the vanilla cola oh yes. yeah the vanilla not cola a two to one, not a two to one yet, but yeah 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 the it's, five, it's amazing. The five milligram vanilla yeah, cola. It's really good. Really, yeah, I really gotta good. Try it. I haven't tried that if yet. If you're a soda sipper, it is for you. For sure. Word. Word. Nice little do you treat. Like, you like them, right? I do. No. Yeah. I like them a lot. Oh, yeah. I feel like they're very true to the, like, the vanilla Coke, vanilla Pepsi. They're in that realm. You can line them up with that. It's just these have weed. Buddha, Buddha. Buddha, Buddha. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a fact, Jack. Coming that soon, good. stage one mixtape. Mm-hmm. Oh. Stage one playlist. That's a fact. I got new products. It's all on the menu. I got a lot of new songs. Once we start, once we start hot. putting out the mixtapes, right? make me drop some bars on that playlist. shit. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna. So we're gonna gonna start doing some parties and shit. We got this offer to do this gig. I don't want to like date it. I'll just be mad vague about the gig, right? So we Ooh. got so we got this gig. It's mysterious. Yeah. Um, we're going to be performing at. It'll be in front of it'll be a, it's a cannabis event. It's already like in the works. It it's going to be in a few weeks from now. Scotty, I thought you would DJ. And then you'll perform and Cam will do a set and I'll do a little I might do some hosting and do a couple songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ozzy the new kid who's also got super bars he could do a set Mm -hmm. and uh, maybe Tara do a song or two and then we'll you know what I mean and then we'll just wrap it up so so many of us got like a music background just from our connection to you and shit you know it's like it's a a talented bunch we we bring the stage like we got the stage one stage you know what I mean we'll bring it it out and we'll be representing love it and just let everybody know what we bring into the table not only with the weed but with the with the music because it's really important with for all of us and with everything that we all do so there's a way to showcase it and bring it to the work to the cannabis world so we i i think once we do this event we got another event coming in a couple months sure we should just try, try to keep pushing that but you you gonna be the dj scotty yeah of course hell yeah what the fuck Perfect. We got Perfect. <laughs> scotty love it Knox, aka scotty packs scotty, scotty packs jack that's a fact that's a fact let's get it i'm ready for that all right so that's exciting yeah we out, Jack? Yeah, I think we out, Jack. Yeah, Jack. Booda, booda. Booda, booda. Jack, right. Jack. Well, peace, peace. This has been Stage One Podcast. Legacy to Legal Stoop to Store. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. I am your host, Merck, with my main man, JLRX. Booda. Scotty Pack, Scotty Knox. Hey. Stage One fam. Rap deals. That's what's up. Peace.